One of the very first character analysis videos I did was on the Pokemon trainer, where I said that they were bards, and I used evidence such as trainers being really good at everything, them having a high charisma to train the different magical creatures, and the different Pokemon moves being spells. But there was one thing that bothered me about this analysis, and that was that they really didn't sing or perform or play instruments or anything, and I am not counting the Poke Flute. I also got a comment saying something along the lines of, why not rangers? And you know what? They were right. Pokemon trainers would be Beastmaster rangers. For starters, the player's handbook says rangers specialize in hunting the monsters that threaten the edges of civilization. Humanoid rangers, rampaging beasts and monstrosities, terrible giants, and deadly dragons. And for this, I would say that the evil teams like Team Rocket would be the human raiders, and all the monsters, dragons, and giants include, well, this. The book continues to say, Fierce independence makes rangers well-suited to adventuring, since they are accustomed to life far from the comforts of a dry bed and hot bath. And Pokemon trainers are fiercely independent, being, for the most part, between 10 and 15 years old, and taking on professional dogfighters and actual gangsters in what I can comfortably call a cross-country street fight extravaganza! Plus, they spend a ton of time in really inhospitable locales, which include things like deserts, forests, and just the open ocean. And this shows that they would know how to survive in the wild, which is a pretty prominent feature of the ranger class, which is evidenced with the entire natural explorer class feature. And for my final bit of evidence, just all of Legends Arceus, running around in the wilds, facing off against monsters to learn how to defend against them better, as well as crafting and surviving, you know, all of this is why I think the Pokemon trainer would be a ranger and not a bard. And you might have thought I forgot about the Beastmaster bit, but I figured a person with little monsters at its beck and call helping him fight would be easy enough to explain. But hey, thanks for watching, let me know in the comments who you'd like to see next, and tune next time to Out of Initiative.